So now, everybody is there? Yes. Mm. So we try. Mm. It is a head, it is a mouth. Mm. Mm? Mm. Eh? Mm. It is a head, it is a mouth. <laughs> mm? 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 Mm. So we open and start afresh now. No matter what we do, in the training you don't move your animals from the training pen. You feed them there, you give them water there, so that to gain what you are telling an animal to change. Because now we are changing animals to another life. If today you bring them here and then tomorrow you are ready to go to the crowd, you have done bad. Eh? So we need them to familiar your company. Fetch your lad. Dela dela Mm. Professionals! <laughs> Say, they have been on the say yesterday. <laughs> 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 One ten and how many kilos? It's two hundred something. Now we need to give small names, short names, and different. The meaning of the name is the name of 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 the name through four stages or four levels of control. Uh, 
the first level is the strongest control that we force on. And that would be the rope. Then we can move to the next level of control, which is where we put our bodies our, in relation to the cattle. Uh, cattle don't like to have us walk right straight onto their faces, come force like this. So if I move this way, sometimes they'll just they'll move uh -huh. away. But as we're training, we want to get away from using the rope, away from using our body. The next level of control, uh, the rope, our bodies, the stick, the goat. We want to move to that level of control where we can say to the animal, walk, come up, and it will obey. Yeah. <laughs> 